Hey guys, so um, today I'm gonna be making gyoza. Well, actually, my mom's gonna be making gyoza. It's on her recipe, and I swear to God, it's like the best in the world. But uh, that's for you guys to judge. Um, yeah, so it's gonna be pork gyoza with um, huxai and ginger and garlic and all that stuff. Um, yeah, so if you guys are interested, just keep on watching. Okay, guys, I'm gonna try to tape it with this camera here. I don't really know how to like focus it, but guess what? I'm at my mom's place. Okay guys, so I'm going to leave a link in the description box down below, so just click on that and then you'll get to my Facebook page and just like it. That will be So one pound of ground pork, we're going to use about um, four onions and you can use less, you can use more. I like a lot of vegetables, it kind of give you flavors, okay? And actually I have a little bit more than enough today because I kind of want to garnish into the dipping sauce. It's going to give you flavor also. And you're going to cut this nice and thin. And also Chinese cabbage. You can use a cabbage instead of a Chinese cabbage if you like. But uh, I like Chinese cabbage better, which is it's tender. Cabbage can be the kind of tough and stuff. So this is good. I'm using about three leaves. And even this one also, you can put more, lesser, however you like. And just having more vegetables in the meat, make the meat more tender. And you know, this one, I like it nicely, thinly minced, really tiny, tiny. And it's, some people, if you like it, they kind of steam it first, but I don't do that. I just use them fresh like this. And as I steam the uh, gyoza in the frying pan, it just does it anyways. And now I'm going to use uh, two garlic cloves and this one, it depends how much you like your garlic. I like garlic and I use two. If you want to make it one, that's just fine. I love garlic too. Yeah, Emmy likes it. And just but it's bad when you go on a date. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Same with onions. That. That's true. But garlic. I haven't had a date in a while, so... <laughs> so I'll that's do good to day. hear. Even yeah, this one, you're not gonna chop it. This is the right way. You're gonna what's it called this? Grind it. Yeah. So then, yeah, I'm using like that that yeah. much. And this again is up to you. If you don't like a uh, lots of ginger flavor, you can make it less about it. More ginger is the better flavor. So see that? And usually what I do, yeah. this has been sitting out for a while, but I put the ginger in the freezer. And then I just use the rasp, it's so much easier to get out. Yeah, you do that, don't you? That really works, you I never tried that before, but... Yeah, you know, like when you buy a ginger, big ginger, you don't use much, and then just and say, stick it in the freezer, and then, yeah, it lasts Yeah, and you long, also don't need yeah. a vegetable peeler, I just use um, a spoon to get the skin off. So, and just I'm gonna... the tip of the day. Alright, I'm gonna use this over okay? So now we're going to put this um, minced vegetables into the pork. Lots of veggies. We'll be using, um, for one pound of ground pork, we're going to use a one tablespoon of soy sauce and one teaspoon of salt. And also... Oh, jeez! <laughs> uh, <laughs> And we're gonna need about half teaspoon of sugar. And as a flavor, I usually put about one tablespoon of sesame oil, but Amy likes it hot, so I'm gonna use that. This is what is called the semi. Hot chili oil. Chili oil, yeah. So you can use either, okay? Let's do this one. Oh yeah, forgot any. You need a little bit of cornstarch. I would put about uh, three tablespoons, and then this is actually magic to make this dumpling really, really nice mm, and soft. Yes, <laughs> and um, yeah, 
just put this cornstarch in there and you mix it really really well and that is a key to make that nice juicy tender dumpling otherwise it's really tough okay this is the one teaspoon of soy sauce I would like to put uh, chili oil, sesame oil. Oh my god! What is you it? You can pump it? Yeah, pump it. I had no <laughs> idea. Anyways, that just it. blew my mind. Okay. So. And um, one tablespoon, just a little bit bigger than one tablespoon. So just, just like so. That's one tablespoon. No teaspoon. Yeah. So yeah, one teaspoon. Is <laughs> you don't want to put the tablespoon. Teaspoon. Okay, and half teaspoon of sugar. And this is not a teaspoon, this is a little bit bigger. So, I'm gonna now put some um, cornstarch. That's about three tablespoons. I'll just dump this whole thing in there, okay? And what I will do, I will just add about, um, about the one teaspoon, tablespoon, mistake, one tablespoon of water. So that's gonna make it easier to mix. And you know what? My mom actually do this by hands. She just goes like this. But I don't like touching meat. And we don't like touching meat either, right? <laughs> I so. think that's why I made you make this video. <laughs> I just gotta say, it smells fantastic right yeah. now. It smells so good. And I wanna talk about sugar. Most of the Japanese food, we always have a, a little bit of sugar. It's and the hidden it's called, taste. That's a hidden taste. We call it kakushiyaki. And it's just like a, you just put the pinch of sugar in there. It just enhances everything. And they, you don't think it's going to do much, but it just enhances the taste. So most of the food has just a little bit of pinch, and that's what I get today. Where did you learn that information from? Yeah, Gigi? That's from my mom. No, Gigi told you, right? Oh, actually. Didn't he? No, Gigi only does the... Gigi's a... Uh, king of making um, <laughs> chahan, chahan, which is uh, fried rice. That's the only thing and he can uh, make, and it's so good. <laughs> egg drop soup. And the egg drop soup. That's his favorite, and he's so good at it. But that's two things he can only make. <laughs> They're so good. This is the wonton skin, and actually, Amy picked up this uh, Chinese one. Ah, um, oh, yeah, found it in the freezer. Oh, for the freezer, and then I probably didn't buy it. I there's a uh, circle one, round one, and a square one, and then uh, it's best. It's properly if you, you're gonna do the proper one, it has to be circle. Put like that. You don't wanna overfill uh, the filling inside because it's gonna come out and then gets really messy. Yeah, you don't want any holes in it when you uh, close it. And you know, actually, Amy has a gilda press. It's kind of, you know, little things that are plastic, and then this will fit inside, and you just press it, and it makes a perfect gilda. Fold it like this, and just make a just a frill like this, and, and just put the water on the half edge like that, and then fold it in a half, and as you close it, just to make a little gilda. Like now we're gonna oil the frying pan. Now actually, I'm using. Um, Extra virgin olive oil, which Japanese don't use that for Japanese food. We usually just use uh, vegetable oil. And what we're trying to do here today is we're gonna brown the one side and when nice nicely browned on the bottom, you're gonna put a little bit of water and we're gonna steam it. You're gonna put the top on it and we're gonna steam it about uh, five minutes. Make sure meat inside is not pink no longer. And so Good gyoza is a crispy on the one side and a soft on the other side. Sorry, I just need to FaceTime because I have not been part of this video for a long time. So, so Amy, I think this is ready. I'm just going to turn around and see, okay? Wow, beautiful. beautiful. Just like that. That's what we're looking for. So nice and crispy on one side. So have just a little bit of water. For this one, probably like a one tablespoon, just like that. <laughs> Like that, okay? And then just bring down to about medium, that's fine. Five, six, and we're gonna steam it. And then the water ever goes away and then, you know, meat is not cooked yet, you know, through, and then you can just add more water and then steam it a little bit more, okay? Looking good. Do a little bit of water, so we're just gonna 
We'll drag this up completely. It's going to need one in there. <laughs> Back to the explosion. <laughs> I usually have many more in there, right? Like I only have six today, but I will fill up as many it fits in. But I make sure they don't touch each other because as you steam, they will stick together. Right? You try to break them off and then one does skin break. So make sure each one are you know, not touching each other. Yeah, my mom usually makes like 50 of them. And then they're like all gone by the next day. Okay, I think this is ready. Turn it so off. it's all good. I'm gonna plate it nice and brown, and it's so nice and soft on the other side. Um, yes. I remember in Japan they usually face it the other way to show oh, that's the true, isn't it? That's true. I you're right about that. Oh, and the funny thing is that me and my mom, we uh, went to Japan. Or sorry, my mom and I went to Japan, and um, we try to find the best gyoza. But honestly, I think my mom makes the best one. Oh, that's nice. Thank you, sweetie. Yeah, you know, actually they do show this beautiful crispy side, and oh my god, they are so good. I think four is good. That looks and good like that. what do you usually eat it with? Rice and um, kind of like thinly sliced cabbage? cabbage? Yeah. yeah. So you do you love the cabbage? Cabbage is the key. The Japanese are a little long, right? It's really good for you. So now we're going to make a dipping sauce, okay? It's called pan. And um, for that amount, let's put... Two tablespoons of soy sauce. And hot sesame oil. Two drops. And if you like it, this is up to you, to your taste, you can put just a drip of vinegar, just like that. Trust me, it tastes better with vinegar. Yes, it just give it a little kind of kick to it. And you can also add uh, sesame seeds and uh, green onions to it. So that's the dipping sauce and that is the final so dish. And you can yeah, just have it with rice and some vegetables. Um, you can slice, if you don't want sliced uh, cabbage, you can slice up some cucumbers and um, tomatoes and yeah. Doesn't that look fantastic? Okay. Now I'm gonna taste it. This is uh, pork gyoza. It's called butaniku gyoza. Wait, let me focus. Yeah? Oh, okay, cool. And dip it. Let's take a little bite. Mmm. Rubber rice. Mm-mm-mm. It's very good. And then Yoda always goes to the hot green tea. Mom, nothing I don't think there's a, it's a video. Good. Don't worry, it's just a video. You're a great tea person. <laughs> <laughs> Great, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Atsu. Atsu, atsu. Sukukatsu no koko.